Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll be talking about the external factors that affect the rate of transpiration. As we mentioned in the previous video, transpiration is basically the movement of water from the leaves to the atmosphere through the opening known as stomata. So, the first factor that will affect how fast the rate of transpiration will be temperature. Okay, so as temperature increases, the rate of transpiration will also increase. Okay, why is that so? An increase in temperature will increase the kinetic energy of water molecules. And this will increase the rate of evaporation of water from the surface of mesophyll cells into the air spaces. And therefore, the rate of diffusion of water through the opening, which is the stomata, will also increase. So, remember, the keyword here is increase kinetic energy and also increase the rate of diffusion. Alright, the second factor that will affect the transpiration rate will be air movement. As we know, during transpiration, the water vapor that diffuses through the stomata will accumulate near the leaf surface. And faster air movement, which is the wind, will help to move to remove the water vapor outside the leaf surface. And hence, the concentration of water vapor outside the leaf will be low and this will create a steep concentration gradient between the water vapor in the leaf and outside the leaf. Okay, the keyword here is steep concentration gradient of water vapor. And this will subsequently increase the rate of diffusion. So when the air is still, the transpiration rate decreases or stops altogether. Okay. The third factor that can affect the transpiration rate will be humidity. Humidity represents the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. If you think logically, diffusion of water vapor will slow down if the leaf is already surrounded by moist air. So, lower humidity means low concentration of water molecules outside the leaf. Therefore, the concentration gradient between the water vapor inside and outside the leaf will be steeper. Hence, the diffusion rate will be faster. Last but not least, light intensity is also another factor that can affect the transpiration rate. So, what happens is that, as the light intensity increases, the light will stimulate the opening of stomata. As a result, the stomata open wider, and hence, more water vapor can evaporate through the stomata. So remember that the light will stimulate the stomata to open to allow gas, gas exchange for photosynthesis. Now, 
let's talk about the mechanism of the opening of stomata. Rate of transpiration is controlled by stomata. Stomata are found usually on the lower epidermis of dicotyledonous plants. So as what, what is being shown here, each stoma is surrounded by two guard cells. They are like kidney. Two kidneys side by side. Okay, Guard cells regulate the gas exchange by opening and closing the stoma. Okay, so in the day, during the day, the light will stimulate photosynthesis in gut cells. The gut cells will start taking up water by osmosis and become swells up. The word here we use is turgid, which is the same meaning as swells up. Because their inner walls are rigid, therefore, they are pulled apart and this will open the pore. Okay. And will allow gaseous exchange and evaporation of water from inside the leaf to outside the leaf. Okay. In the night, so this is what happened in the dark. Photosynthesis does not take place. So the water will be lost and the gut cells will become flaccid and their inner walls will move closer together and closing the pore. Okay?